again the system hangs a little so it is difficult to work but uh, i was able to do it this time okay so the texture part i'll just show again uh, so if you have yeah. the uh, difficulty inside that okay yeah, so Yeah, so suppose if you have this landscape now and uh, we want to add some kind of texture to this uh, particular landscape. Now we can see the texture is also uh, seen. Last time it was having a little bit of a color, but the <laughs> texture is also seen. So what I'll do now, uh, we can just start by creating a new material. So let's <coughs> name it as... So this is my new material which is there, uh, landscape, and I'll just create an instance of that, am I? And this is what I'll just put inside this uh, landscape, let's, uh, so here, uh, so inside this landscape material, let's drag and drop this material, and now we have this uh, kind of scene. So we'll just start adding now it is like too shiny and it is taking that shader over here So we need to make sure that we remove that shininess also now double click on this And we are into this material now Sir Yeah Rejoin, uh, I will rejoin sir uh, actually the share has stopped I mean sharing screen can't I there but uh, we may not can't I there Okay so, so I'll just rejoin Yeah yeah sure Now can you see? Uh, it is saying my network problem. I will try to fix my Okay. Even with two networks, it is telling the same thing. Uh, so, shall I present again? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can try. Yes. It's raining. Yes, sir. Now it's raining. Really yeah, I think it is because of my network or something. It's raining now, so mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, yeah, so we'll just add that material now. So once I drag and drop this into the landscape, uh, so once I click on this landscape, you create a new material and just drag and drop this into this landscape material. And you just double click on this to open that. Now we have this is the material which we have it uh, over here. So again, uh, we need to double click on this times and we have this new landscape material which we have it over here now we'll just add uh, some kind of texture to that so go to this textures so any kind of texture I'll just add it uh, so you want uh, you can also download some different textures for it so I'll just add two textures or three dep depending on that what you want to create suppose if I just add this one and again we have this another texture so we have this two textures and uh, we need to blend uh, this textures over here right so to blend the texture uh, you need to add a landscape layer blend so uh, press tab search for landscape uh, layer blend so if i just click on that we have this landscape layer blend and this is what we'll be adding to it so uh, so for adding that textures right so we need two nodes over here to be connected so double click on this uh, and here we can just see that we can create certain layers over here so just click two layers because we have two layers over here two textures if you have four you can create four uh, layers over there so click on this again one more time 
and we have this two layers so first layer you can just name it as grass mm -hmm. new so whatever the name you want to give for that you can just give that name for the second layer also again so this is ground so this is another uh, layer which we have added and we have given some name for that and now you can just connect from here to here rgb from here to here again and this you can just connect to this okay so once we have done this now uh, we need to tell this uh, software also like uh, uh, it has to have certain uv's also no so it will not understand uh, this part over here so if i just apply now just click on apply save that so we need to save uh, all this now so once i save that if i just close this to save this as well close it so it is not showing anything inside this particular material because uh, we didn't apply we didn't tell that uh, there is certain uv's for that so to tell that double click on this and we need to define that there is uv's over here so right click and for landscape also there are certain uv's uh, so you need to apply that so press tab and this time uh, landscape uh, you have something called landscape coordinates layer coordinates so that i will be using this time so previously you are using that uv map uh, this time i am just using this uh, landscape coordinates and this i need to connect to this uv this i need to connect to this uv again and now we have this uh, coordinates over here okay so once this uh, two things are done uh, you can uh, see it over here on the left side it will ask for mapping so this is auto so custom uv if you want to go for uh, any one of this so uh, light uh, weight map uvs so if i can choose that so it will add that over here and this is the scale so how much amount of scale you want to add it suppose if i add 10 and let's apply that over here and again save <coughs> let's close this again save it and close this okay so now i need to go for this landscape mode and then i go to this paint so when i go to the paint option here we can just see that there is something uh, two layers which are there so this is what which is which I applied previously and it is not updated over here so I'll just delete this off so I don't want this uh, particular layers because these are from the previous layers and again what I'll do is I'll just apply this so sometimes it won't take that uh, material right so I'll just remove this landscape and let's drag and drop this again so once I load that inside the paint now it has taken some uh, a layer right you can just see that there are two layers which is automatically form over here so these are the two layers which is shown now we need to define uh, these layers uh, over here so you can click it we need to create a layer info for that so click on this and click it so this is grass new save it Yeah, so now we can just see that it has applied that grass uh, texture to it and there is one other layer so for this also we need to define the uh, layer info otherwise it won't take so save it again so it is already have so there is some kind of space uh, over there so we don't want any kind of space between this and we have done this so we have two layers so now if I just select any of this layer and you want to paint it suppose if I want to paint this layer now we can just see that it will start adding that shader over here okay so it is painting now only the land part uh, i'll just paint it wherever i want this uh, path over here suppose here i want this to go in this place so here also i want some so where so i don't uh, since there are two layers, will the green layer be above and the other layer will be below? Now you are basically erasing the first one. Is it the case or uh, when you apply, it gets applied over it? 
uh, so it will apply it over uh, it so any of the layers suppose again if you want grass you can just add it so if you want this you want to add it over here directly okay. so here i want all this land kind of thing so i'll just start adding that over here so this is done and i don't want this shininess uh, for this material so it is too shiny it doesn't look like uh, land over here so we need to uh, edit that material again so double click on this material and what is this roughness is there no so i just need to add some kind of constant for that so press tab name it as constant so we have this constant let's add this uh, to this roughness now okay so once i add this it is too shiny so i'll just make it one so i don't want that much shininess for that and then apply and save that let's apply and save it so once i apply and save it it will be uh, taking that material now and close this now again uh, we can just close and now it is uh, proper so we don't see that much shininess over here so wherever you want uh, another material also you want to add it uh, you can just add it over here and we can just see this grass so so if i just right click i can just zoom in closer and now we have this prop so wherever you want to paint it we can just paint like that and if you want to apply some kind of water also now inside this so we have the landscape now and you want to have some kind of water uh, inside this place so we can just add that water elements also inside this now to add any kind of water uh, so what we have to do it sometimes we need to enable the plugin uh, for that so go to edit click on this plugin and here you need to search for water uh, so this is what we have the plugin which we need to enable it so once you enable that uh, uh, what will happen you need to restart uh, this unreal uh, because it has to load so once you click on that you need to you might need to restart so since i have already enabled i'll not restart this and i need to add that uh, element over here right so to add that i can just go for this one uh, go to windows and i just need to see this place actor option and here i can search for water now as soon as i, I see the water we have different uh, elements so if you want to create a a water body island or you want to create a lake kind of uh, material or you want to create a ocean so you just need to drag and drop this over here so let's use this water body ocean now so as i add that now we can just see this okay so these are the controls with the help of which we can uh, adjust this over here so if you just want to select this and move it up select this and adjust that over here now we can just see it over so we have this nice uh, water body over here and uh, uh, if i extend this so we have this is the control this is the spline with the help of which we want to see that uh, certain part of the uh, geometry over here so i want to see landscape so i can just click on that i'll adjust it so wherever you want to see the landscape over here so you can just start adjusting it over here so th this one again hold control click on this and you can just start fixing it wherever you want this water to be over here let's fix this so i want only on the corners uh, so we can just fix that water only on the corner of that let's see it over here. so here if you feel that it has to be adjusted we can just start extending or uh, bringing in back so there are two landscape so this one there is another over here so i want to hide the second one and we have this so click on this uh, particular thing and we can adjust the certain properties of that also so if i go to the spline component uh, here uh, we can just see there are certain properties of that also so if you want to adjust anything uh, we can adjust it over here uh, so uh, what all the properties uh, of this so it, since it is a 
water elements so i just want this to be movable so we can just see the movement also now control and click so i'll just fix it till this part so we also have the tangent handles you can also control and click and adjust this tangent handles also to adjust that over here so uh, whatever this is this is the display uh, because of this display it is looking like this uh, s patches over here but when you play that it won't be having that issue so now whatever this elements are there now if you want to adjust the position of that or location of this also we can adjust it so uh, what i'll do is i'll just inside this uh, select mode so if i just select this landscape and if you feel that it has to be lifted up or you want to push this whole landscape down so whichever this landscape is let's say this okay so this landscape you can select and uh, if you want to adjust the landscape position so if i just want to lift that up so this is landscape one if i just want to lift that up over here so above the water if you want to lift it right so you can just start lifting that landscape above the water level so we can also paint it so what i'll do is i'll just push this landscape uh, below the water level now you can just see that it is too high uh, so we can just select the landscape and let's push this down and what i'll do is i'll just start uh, painting this corners of this landscape uh, so that water uh, comes uh, over it so we can paint it so what i'll do is lit little more down so until we feel that it is nicely going inside so slowly you pull this down yeah so now we can just see that it is nicely blending now uh, over here so because it was not in a proper position we can just see that it was not it was looking certain jaggy edges over there so now we have this nice uh, proper blending between this water and all okay so now uh, so some of the places we need to uh, adjust this landscape so now we can just see that it is having nice movement of water uh, water will be having that flow okay so let's select this landscape and uh, let's start painting that uh, over here so if you want some of the place to go it down again or you want to uh, leave this place suppose if i just go to this let's zoom out so uh, hold s on your keyboard and just push it back so i can just see this side of the screen let's see this side also yeah. so this side is lifted up right so what i want to do it over here is i just want to adjust to uh, this particular place now so whatever this uh, landscape is there now i need to push it down so to push this landscape down uh, i have one tool over here so i want everything to go inside this see it is floating up now so we can just adjust it little down so go to the landscape tool again and here i just go to the sculpting and here if i just go for this erosion uh, now if you just want to push this down right so i just use that to uh, push this down like this and the tool strength over here also we have this so we can just see the tool strength is one so i just need to push this more and more down and the brush size is around uh, 8k over here so let's start pushing this down so as i paint uh, on the top of it it will start pushing this corners edges down and let's blend this over here nicely so it will give some kind of randomness also for this and let's start uh, since we are using the map right so uh, whatever the map i'm using uh, it is pulling that up so i need to push all this down all the places so let's select this place now so it is too high 
I just want to push this height down. So if uh, my character is going over here, so I don't want this to be see. Or if you want to extend that also, I can extend that uh, down. So uh, we have this add and extend, right? So I can also extend uh, inside this. So if I go to the manage, we have this add. Uh, we can keep adding uh, in this place also. So if you just add it, just click on this, it will add that uh, thing over there. So I feel this is fine. And this place again. So let's uh, go for this again, sculpt, sculpting. I just want to use this to push it down. So how much uh, we need to start pushing it down slowly, everything. So if I'm much closer, I'll be able to paint that nicely. Okay, so this part we need to start uh, pushing it down still. So I'm just start adding more and more over here. Or if you want to push this, uh, uh, whatever the surface is there, the landscape, you want to push it down. Uh, we can also push the whole landscape down over here. And we have this threshold also. So how much you want to increase, adjust that. Just push. It's fine. So some of the land, uh, wherever you want to uh, paint the land part, right? So I'll just start adding that. Let's push it much closer. Zoom out. Let's push more inside. So it's too high. So let's uh, bring this more closer. And when I bring it much closer and I just need to rotate and then start pushing that down over here. Let's zoom it. So the corners, so what I can do is I can just uh, make it more smooth or blending uh, over here so this is too high let's bring this down so if i just hold shift also on my keyboard i can smooth that out so whatever this region is there you want to smooth that out so it is too high so we can just still some of this part We can just see uh, over here. So this part, let's push this down. Right here. Yeah. So uh, finally, if you just want to push the whole uh, thing down, I can just push it. Let's see uh, this whole. So backside, it is fine. So we can adjust it more. Uh, the landscape also, if I can just push the whole landscape little bit of down that will also work so it should not be like this so upright so just push all this more down so until it goes into the water uh, surface So here, let's start adding it down. That's fine. Okay, so we have this nice uh, surface now. So let's start blending this more nicely. Don't want that edges to be seen or whatever over here. Let's fix that more properly. It looks fine. Okay, so now you start adding uh, more elements to this. So now we have done a uh, certain amount uh, for this. So we are over here. And whatever the character is, if you just want to start playing that uh, game now. So here. Escape. 
and i need to place the character uh, over here so our character is actually down press w so select this player start and uh, it is actually below this so we need to make sure that this comes on the top of the scene and uh, we will be able to move now so it is there let's save go to file save all and we will just save everything so now we can just see that so it is having this nice uh, uh, movement also so once i save that texture now let's play that so we can just see uh, this water movement so now what all the other elements are there so we are able to make this now so we can just uh, keep saving the elements and whatever the other elements you want to add from the quixel or you want to add some kind of trees and all we already have that inside this mega scan so go to the mega scan we have certain plants over here so i just want to add this uh, kind of plants inside the scene uh, over here so we have this certain plant so this are the static mesh uh, which you can add it uh, to the scene over here. So it is added. Let's scale this to 10, 10, 10. Over here, you want to lift that up. Okay, so you can add as a foliage uh, over here, but I just want to zoom in now. F. And we have this. So this is very small. Let's try placing it wherever. You require that okay. so it looks too small for me so if i just make it 50 and let's place that over here so we'll have certain uh, plants also if you want to add it or certain trees you have you can just start adding that so 50 uh, 50 is going to good 100 100 100 yeah. okay, so this is like plant so i need to make it around 30 30 30 so that will be small only so let's fix that okay so individually you want to place that uh, you can place it like this so placement of that and any other things whatever we have from that we have uh, got some kind of stones also there so you can also use certain stones also so let's use this so you want to go for this foliage uh, you have this foliage you can load now click on this plus sign so what you want to add it over here so once you click on that it will load that over here so this is what we have and these are the properties of that okay so this is the properties of that so scale of this how much you want it so that you need to specify suppose if i make it 100 by 100 now it is bigger and then you can just start painting on the top of it so if you want select this properly select this and then i have this brush and then i can start painting it over okay so it will load the textures uh, as well as all the uh, things now we can just say that it is too big and if you want to do individually uh, let's uh, do it individually now one by one so i'll just click it now uh, it is adding one one plant over so as soon as you add that you can just start adding it over here so the scale we can specify so whatever this foliage you want to add it uh, to the scene uh, you can specify the amount of scale and individually you want to put it let's make it little bit of smaller also so 20 some are like 20 by 20 like this and keep clicking it over here keep clicking so this is like small uh, plants which you have it over here so load more so i'll just add more of this different foliage which we have so this is another one click on that so once I uh, click on this foliage, so it just gives some values for that. So make it little bigger. So 40, 
and then you start clicking it over here you know, start clicking start adding uh, or at a different different places so i want little bit of smaller uh, plants also and little bit of bigger uh, plants as well so this will take uh, like uh, more of your ram as you keep on adding uh, to the system right so uh, be careful while adding this so if you are adding too much also it will create uh, this thing so system might get slow so keep saving the uh, level so i'll just go to file save all and i'll just save everything or so certain plants are there now so we can just see uh, now if you just want to add a paint and using the paint density what i can do is i can just reduce the density of this brush size also and then i can just start adding it over here. so if you want lots and lots of uh, this thing uh, we can adjust that so radius we can add it so if i'm just adding it at certain place let's go to this place now let's go over here zoom out And suppose here so uh, here if I just add it so if you feel that it is too much you also have the erase uh, certain density uh, for that over here so that is option is also there so point density should be zero okay so this we can use it over here so uh, if you want to click on this erase right so you can just click on erase uh, also uh, and let's see this the point density is totally zero for that and remove you can also remove certain things over here it is hanging now and this is for selection so if you want to do certain selection for that and then you want to uh, move over here uh, or you want to move this whole uh, bunch of the trees over here at a different place so we can also do this uh, lasso selection also uh, we can also use that so if I just click on this fill also uh, button so we need to see like so this foliage also on and let's let's try that this fill will work no okay so fill doesn't work with this so we have different tools so let's see the single single by single let's start adding and we have a bunch of this also now any other elements you still uh, want to take from quixel uh, where you want to add some kind of rocks uh, so you can load that over here so let's see that we have something so inside mega scan we don't have so here we have certain uh, things there are certain materials which we have it over here so these are certain materials which you want to use so we don't have uh, props we have so we don't have any kind of rocks so let's load that let's first save all uh, the things so keep saving your uh, levels right so go over here and save all otherwise if it crashes you will not uh, be saved anything there so let's go for this and go for quick sell bridge again and this time i just want certain things called rocks or if you want to search for mountain rocks or something we have this kind of uh, thing which is over there so any of this rocks you want to load it just select that just get it from here and add to the project and this will be too heavy uh, so we need to see that how we can just okay so any other things you you just keep downloading uh, and keep it so some you don't know when you will be using that uh, certain elements so all these things uh, you can just keep downloaded and keep it and here also we have some kind of uh, material so you want to use this material on certain project uh, you can use this material directly so we have so so many things rocks let's use another this one again this looks nice and i need to click on this add to the project so uh, once it is downloaded i'll add to the project and then i'll use it so this is added there's one more thing i didn't add 
this I want to add it add this this one this is not downloaded so whichever is downloaded let's add that so this one is also add it and I'll just close and it has added certain uh, things over here so let's drag and drop this so come to select it's too small uh, let's make it around 10 by 10 by 10 and let's check that rock which is over here so just want to place it inside this works okay so wherever we want to add this and place it uh, inside the scene so any other rock which we have so just start adding what all the elements is required for that so let's drag and drop this this is also too small and let's scale that up and place it let's see this now okay so certain thing is there let's delete and we have with this nice rocks with nice details okay. so this is how we can just add some kind of foliage also uh, how we can just add some water is also there so if you want to paint something near this water uh, region also so if you just want to add some pebbles uh, or rocks uh, near this water place that will be good so let's zoom out and let's start adding this also so hold alt and just start uh, placing this and it is different place so here press e rotate Just start placing however it looks fine over here. Alt, duplicate, rotate. So different rotation, uh, we'll just check it over here. So uh, what all rotation we want. W, push it up. Press E, Let's start rotating uh, in that direction. This one. F to zoom in. This is another rock. So there are multiple, I think. Yeah, so it's fine. So it's done. And save all the uh, levels now. So save all. And once you have done all these things, you need to build. Uh, all these things over here so you need to build a lighting so if you want to make uh, the speed up uh, thing so you need to build all this lighting uh, and all the maps if you also want to build it see uh, this is an option called build all landscape so I just need to build all this uh, thing click on this build now there is some kind of error which is showing so let's see this okay so this is like a static uh, so I'll just build now only the lighting for it. So build all the lighting first. Okay, so it takes time uh, to build the whole lighting. So uh, now it is done. Okay, so it will bake all this lighting into the scene. So your scene will be much faster when you uh, play for it. still doing mm, you can see this uh, nice movement inside the water so the water properties also we can uh, adjust it over here so if I just go to this body ocean uh, and here we have different properties for the uh, water over here so we can just see that height uh, and water attenuation so this attribute so this is the wave so this you can adjust it so if you want to reduce or increase the wave size over here uh, so by adjusting this particular properties 
okay so again it is building the light over here so you can just reduce it okay so the way uh, how it uh, differs over here we can just try adjusting it over here so different uh, uh, properties of that over here which we have it uh, inside this so a blurring of that so if you want to blur you want to add certain noise for this inside this waves we can just start adding that amount of noise inside so now we just see this work. okay so this is what we can do it uh, now we have all this uh, different uh, level now so i can just import any kind of character also you want to import you can just import the character as well so that we will see and how uh, we can add the camera movement uh, inside this particular scene uh, so different different angle you want to show how the camera movement so that will be seeing next uh, inside this so try adding some kind of landscape you want to create uh, just try creating some kind of different landscape uh, and this kind of scene so uh, very simple uh, landscape also you want to do it uh, do it so if you feel that this is too big and uh, if you are using the map sometimes it will be taking too much uh, mesh over here so if your system is not supporting uh, you can just use only the sculpt tool just sculpt with that and then you start using uh, the texture on the top of it so you'll learn in that way because uh, if you are adding some kind of map what we have used uh, it will be too much heavy for the scene so let's see that it's still building the light over here if you do any changes again it will start uh, building that over here just cancel that for now so just this is. and if i just play that So sometimes it might show some kind of map error so we need to see that uh, I need to sometimes save that maps so some of these things are yeah so whether we can move through that water If our character or something is there, I think I can move it through that water as well. So that will start adding the character and we'll see how uh, it reacts with the character as well, this water, if I'm adding the character. So third person character, if you want to uh, place and check it, you'll just see that how it works. Okay, so work on this water uh, part and uh, the landscape so try uh, finishing something uh, inside this so you can start with a third person character scene and then you want to uh, build a whole thing you can just work try and work with that okay so in this any doubts you have uh, no sir uh, it's, uh, all of these are clear uh, we will give a try with that okay and uh, uh, even for uh, stones and all, we can select it as a foliage and we can simply paint yeah, it. Yeah, you can choose mesh also, no? So you can choose any of the mesh and then start painting it. Uh, so any yeah. static mesh, you can use it. Uh, we also have this mesh paint, I'll show you that. And we also have this uh, foliage. So instead of that, you can use any static mesh. You can mm. paint it. So we have uh. this foliage. If you want to search uh, anything else over here, you can search for that. Or static mm -hmm. mesh foliage you have. So anything which you have it, uh, you have downloaded, you can use it. Um, Mega scan, 3D assets, and we have this. Suppose this one. Yes. And we have that particular mesh. <coughs> Just start adding. So I need to make sure that this is on, and then you start. It's taking only the tree. Let's see this. I think it still needs to be. 
I think both the things are on. Right? Okay, so just check the scale of that and everything over here. So I need to. It's on. I think it has created. Yeah, it is too small. Mm -hmm. So if I just click that, I think I need to change that properties of that uh, over here. Mm -hmm. That static mesh. So it's not showing any of these properties. So if I click, it is there. I think it can see uh, in this place, whatever. Okay. So we can add that. So if you want to s change that, if I just go to this paint and we have this lot of uh, things. Uh, but it is coming over here, but it is too small in size. That's why you're not able to see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. So the same way, uh, if you want to load any of this uh, mesh, so the size of that mesh, you need to increase to the same. And let's add uh, any other things which you have. So if you want to add some kind of hut uh, inside the scene. So if you can just go for uh, pixel and you can find some kind of hut uh, over there. Uh, and you want to place that. So you can build it quickly. Certain scenes. So if you get that, it's good. There is no hut uh, over here. So yeah, buildings. So this I think we need to build it. So if you want to take all this modular pieces and uh, you need to start uh, building it inside it over here. So we just get this, all this thing. So certain food roof. So all these are separate. So it is not like a single uh, thing. Okay. Uh, so start forming this. Uh, uh, if you have this bridge, you want to place it somewhere. So this props, whatever this thing props are. There. Certain container is there. Let's use this barrier. Somewhere you want to put it. Start loading. Or if you want to create something of your own and then you want to import that uh, models also. So we can also do that. So next we'll be seeing that once we finish this basic, we'll just try to uh, import some of the object from uh, other software and we'll just try to see that how it works in inside this. Yeah. We have this. Oops, select. Let's bring that over here. We'll just make it 30, 30, 30. And now we have this. It's doubling. Start adding it over. Sack of bags and alt. Duplicate that, place it position wherever you want to place. Yes, so this is fine. Uh, so yes, you you also try uh, something. Start creating some kind of uh, small scene also. Uh, that will be good. Okay. Okay then. So see you tomorrow. And uh, we'll be seeing how the camera animation and all the uh, stuff tomorrow in the same sir. scene. Yeah. Hello. Uh, yes, sir. You okay. could be, uh, if I put some objects that want to be float on water, hmm. how can we do that? Uh, that I'll show. That uh, mask. Yeah, yeah, so that uh, we have to add on the top of this water and I'll show the properties of that also. So tomorrow yeah. we'll continue the same uh, thing. We'll see the camera animation and how that floating object works with this. Okay. Uh, some boat also will try to add it on the top of that. So the scene will yeah. look nice. Okay? Okay. okay. So see you tomorrow, same time. Uh, so you also try. So anything you have doubts, you can just ask. Yes. Okay. okay, so see you. Thank you, sir. Yeah.